Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. Israel Foreign Minister cuts short India visit after security update back home. Former Pakistan PM Imran Khan arrested in corruption case. And Blinken threatened with contempt of U.S. Congress over Afghanistan cable. And now for all the details. Israel's Foreign Minister Eli Cohen cut short his three-day official visit to India as he received a security update back home upon his arrival in New Delhi on Tuesday. Israel Defense Forces, the IDF, have launched a targeted campaign against Islamic Jihad in Gaza. On Tuesday, Israel killed three senior Islamic Jihad commanders in airstrikes on Gaza. They had been threatening the security of Israelis for too long, the IDF said. Cohen held a meeting with his Indian counterpart, S.J. Shankar, to boost cooperation in agriculture, digital and innovation, mobility, tourism, finance and health sectors. He also met Prime Minister Narendra Modi before heading back home. And a 27-year-old Indian woman, Eshwarya Thatikonda, was among the nine individuals who lost their lives during a shooting incident in America's Texas province. Two other Indian nationals were also reportedly injured in the mass shooting incident, which happened this past weekend. In a tweet, Indian Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar said he's closely monitoring the situation and was taking regular updates from the Indian envoy to the country. He also informed that the Indian consulate in Houston is facilitating the completion of requisite formalities to bring mortal remains of the deceased to India. Well, Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan was on Tuesday taken into custody by paramilitary forces from the premises of the Islamabad High Court in a corruption case in a dramatic move that threatens fresh turmoil in the country. Imran Khan's PTI party shared a video showing a swarm of paramilitary personnel whisking him away to a vehicle and alleged he was badly pushed. Protest had erupted by PTI supporters across Pakistan till the last reports came in. The former PM has been campaigning against the government of a successor since being ousted in April last year, demanding early elections. And the shortage of wheat across Pakistan has continued to trouble common citizens as they struggle to make ends meet amid the record high inflation. A report. Amid decade high inflation due to ongoing economic crisis, shortage of wheat has also now caused a flour availability and affordability crisis in Pakistan. People mainly in the low income group are forced to stand for hours in long queues for subsidized supply of wheat flour which is short on supply. Several complain even after standing for hours there's no surety whether they will return with flour bag or not. A report by UN body World Food Programme has stated that price of wheat in Pakistan has skyrocketed by 74% in last one year. There have also been chaos and stampedes in markets for flour leading to death of children and women. Meanwhile, amid the worsening crisis, the World Bank has linked approval of second rise to loan with the completion of the stalled IMF program, denting Pakistan's efforts for securing loans from multilateral creditors. The revival of the IMF program has so far proved a hard nut to crack as Pakistan is yet to fulfill the cross-external financing gap to the satisfaction of the global lender. And moving on, a political activist from POK, Amjad Ayub Mirza, has lashed out at Pakistan's Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari over state-sponsored terrorism. Mirza has urged India to again conduct surgical strikes to eliminate terror threat from Pakistan. Kashmiri political activist Amjad Ayub Mirza has slammed Pakistan's Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari for being part of Pakistan Army's foreign policy and state-sponsored terrorism. 
Mirza said that during the two-day visit of Bhutto for the SEO meet in Goa, India's Jammu and Kashmir witnessed two encounters between security forces and terrorists belonging to Pakistan-based outfits, in which five Indian Army soldiers were killed. He also raised concerns that Pakistan is now planning to disrupt upcoming G20 meetings in Kashmir by aiding terror outfits. On the very day that the summit was taking place in Rajori, Pakistan was still facilitating the infiltration of terrorists. So my question to Mr. Bilawal Bhutto is, Sharam tumko magar nahi aati. You don't feel ashamed of yourself that you are representing a country that is infiltrating terrorism into Jammu and Kashmir. The Indian government should look into the possibilities of conducting surgical strikes uh, in order to eliminate these uh, pockets of uh, jihad. Earlier, India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar also called Bilawal Bhutto the spokesperson of terror industry for his statements pertaining to India. New Delhi has long blamed that Islamabad aids terrorists to spread unrest in Kashmir Valley, a charge Pakistan denies. And Michael McCall, the Republican chairman of the U.S. House of Representatives Foreign Affairs Committee, has threatened the Secretary of State Antony Blinken with contempt of Congress if he does not comply with a subpoena seeking a classified cable related to the 2021 U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. In a letter, McCall has threatened a possible civil enforcement proceeding if Blinken does not comply with the committee's request by Thursday or provide a legal basis for withholding the document. McCall said information provided and the department's response so far were insufficient. Republicans and some Democrats say there has never been a full accounting of the chaotic operation in which 13 U.S. service members were killed at Kabul's airport. Our nature lovers are thronging a zoo in India's Surat city which has succeeded in creating an environment for otters to breed in the enclosure. The zoo is the only one in India where otter breeding in captivity has been fruitful by providing them. The mammal is listed in the endangered category of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The zoo is also trying to breed more otters to transfer them to zoos in other parts of the country. इसीलिए हम लोगों को जो 2006 में फ्लड आया था सूरत में वो टाइम में दो फीमेल मिला था बाद में एक फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट से मेल मिला और उसके बाद 2008 से कैप्टिविटी में उसका सक्सेसफुल ब्रीडिंग स्टार्ट हुआ है और पूरे इंडिया में सूरत जो ही है जहां पे उसका कैप्टिविटी में सक्सेसफुल ब्रीडिंग हो रहा है इनिशियली अपने पास तीन थे उसमें से बच्चे होकर अभी रिसेंटली अभी अपने पास 20 उड बिलाव है कैप्टिविटी में Otters belong to the family of the carnivorous mammal category, having 13 different species, wherein three of them, namely Eurasian otter, smooth-coated otter and small clawed otter, are found in India. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.